Hi everyone, welcome back. I've got my first ever empties videos to do for you and I've got a new star of the day and that's Jazzy Cat. You've probably seen her coming in and out of frame in previous videos but um, she's just chilling out over there so uh, hi everyone say hello to Jazzy Cat. Uh, she's not going to be doing any dancing, just literally sitting about the back. So um, I want to show you all the stuff that I've used right to the very end and give you my thoughts and opinions on them. So if you'd like to see those things for June 2014, please keep watching. The first empty that I'm going to mention just to get out of the way is the new Garnier Ultimate Blends Shampoo, the Marvelous Transformer for dry and dull hair and that's with argan and camellia oils, I think that's pronounced. The reason I'm not going to go into any detail with this is just simply because I've planned an entire review video just purely on this uh, uh, line. So I've got the shampoo, conditioner and the mask and I'm going to do a video just purely on those things when I've got a bit more experience with the other two products. Next I'm going to mention the L'Oreal Skin Perfection 3-in-1 Purifying Micellular Solution. It dissolves makeup, unclogs pores and removes impurities, tones and smooths the skin and it's supposed to be high performance, hypoallergenic uh, for face, eyes and lips and suitable for sensitive skin. Now there's not a huge amount I can say about this because a micellular water is a micellular water in my opinion as long as I don't get breakouts with it so um, and that would be my test of whether or not it was cleaning me properly then I would say it was all right and um, before this one I tried the B version which is Superdrug's um, higher end uh, own brand set of products and I enjoyed that as well so it's fine if it's any reflection on how I enjoyed it I did repurchase it so if that's anything to go by then um, I found that to be a good product as I mentioned in my haul video which I'll link in the description box I have actually bought the Garnier one to have next um, and that was recommended by Mrs Ginger Karen from the Mrs Ginger Beauty channel so um, I am going to try that one next because um, she claims that one's better but um, I think it's fine it does the job the next empty is a beauty cream uh, by, by Superdrug again and it's the Precious Woman line. Now I got this in a gift set um, with the perfume and the shower gel and I've uh, nearly finished the perfume but um, the beauty cream I've completely finished. Now I used it up because I don't like waste but I'm not going to rave about this. I've got not a lot of uh, great things to say about it but then again I don't really see the point in a, in a perfumed beauty cream. A moisturiser to me needs to be thick and creamy and luxurious or oily and something that's going to really uh, moisturise and, and quench thirsty skin. Whereas this is really more like um, a, li um, a, a perfume in a liquid cream form. So if you are somebody that's really into perfumes and strong scents and you like to layer your products so you want to make your perfume last all day then, then maybe you'd enjoy this but um, I'm not going to repurchase it and it's certainly um, a highly perfumed lotion is not really what I look for in a lotion but um, I enjoyed the beauty cream I just you, you put it on my calves and my legs because I didn't really um, trust it to put it anywhere else in case it gave me a reaction. Um, so yeah the scent is very nice, um, it's quite a mature scent. I said, um, I mentioned this scent to a colleague once and he said, uh, what did he say? He said to me, oh uh, it's an old lady smell, so some people might find that an old lady smell. I usually steer away from the more mature scents, I usually go for more sort of fruity scents but um, but I do like it, um, I did enjoy it, I think this is the kind of thing you'd have to smell for yourself to see if you liked it and if you did like it you'd, you'd probably just buy the perfume rather than the beauty cream um, if it's sold separately at all so that's my thoughts on that. Next is a face cream, I've completely completely finished the Be Renewed Night Cream Clinically Proven Results and they have a three step program at Superdrug, uh, one, two and three and this is the second phase. Now I'm on the cusp really because I think the first stage is up to early 30s or 30 and then stage two is that onwards so um, I didn't really need to get the stage two but in my mind when I was choosing I just thought maybe that would have stronger ingredients since it's um, more be more powerful so I got the, the second one and I got this um, actually I got this with my birthday gifts last year so this would be over a, a year old now um, but I was stocking up at the time so it's not lasted a year. Um, I tried the micellular water with B as well and both I really enjoyed. I say really enjoyed, 
I, again, I don't go for a facial moisturiser with such a strong scent. It has a really strong scent and it is a very mature, strong scent. So um, it's not going to be something I'm going to repurchase. And I don't think it was very cheap either. So I'm not, I'm not sure I would say this was worth the money. Um, but uh, yeah, not a recommended product, but has been used to the end. So deserves a place in the empties video. I've also completely used up my Body Shop um, Strawberry Body Butter. Now this again came in a gift set and that's why it's a miniature version. And I've kept, I'm going to keep this container because I find these um, Body Shop containers really lovely for travelling. Um, not that I travel a huge amount, uh, but uh, when I do travel, it's quite handy to have these to stick stuff in. Um, I do really like the scent. Um, I think most people know that Body Shop are quite well renowned for their scents. Not as renowned as, say, Lush, um, but their scents are fairly natural. It's not an artificial, really artificial smell. It's um, a fairly, you know, decent strawberry smell. So, but also it's very, very moisturising. I'm, I'm not going to repurchase it because actually I already have um, the vitamin E one, which I do prefer. Um, but I enjoyed that and used it to the end. Um, for the minis though, I literally only get two uses out them because when I get out of the bath or the shower, I just put it over my entire body and so I only this only lasted um, about uh, a week and a half to two weeks. My next empty is uh, Simple Kind to Skin Moisturising Facial Wash. I have already repurchased two of these, um, two more of these and that's in my haul video. Um, I really love this because it doesn't dispense too much product. Um, I find that because the opening is quite tight and you have to squeeze it quite difficult to get it out um, then I find that you're not getting too much because you, you don't really need very much of this to take your makeup off especially if you're going to be cleansing your face twice once to remove your makeup and once to actually wash your face um, so it doesn't irritate my eyes I do get right in there to my eyes as I said in my May favourites I'll link that in the description box as well um, and I just uh, love it. It's my go-to face wash. I, I pro I'll try not to have one in every empties video because um, it's probably that I'll get through one of these a month. So I really like simple uh, face wash. Next is my Woman Shaw Cotton Ultra Dry 48 Hour Antiperspirant. Now I've put this in the empties um, and I've just realised there's quite a little bit left in that. Um, I'm just worried it's going to fall out and go everywhere, but I, I might try and get a bit more out of that. I have repurchased that. I've got one um, I'm using now and one um, on reserve ready for when that's run out. I don't like to run out of things. I do. I tend to stock off. It's a bit naughty, but I do. Um, so yeah, I really like this deodorant. It does. I can't. I couldn't comment on whether it is 48 hour protection because I don't need 48 hour. I only need 24 hour, um, as I mentioned in my May favourites. But um, I did really enjoy that, and it is empty on my standard of what is empty. So that's going in the video. I've completely finished 100% pure cotton wool um, Superdrug uh, cotton pads. And um, not really much else to say about that. It's empty, so it's in the empty. Next empties. is a three-step N Spa Japanese Rice Spa Rituals kit that um, was purchased uh, for me and given to me as a gift. Um, I haven't finished the second step, which appears to be sort of a, a scrub, but it's loose. I've never had that before. I've never seen anything like that. So it's an exfoliant, but instead of being in um, you scoop it out and sort of rub it on it, it looks like bath crystals, they're loose crystals so I haven't tried that yet especially because the product has ylang ylang in and though these were not too bad um, the second step smelled a little bit like wee. Is it me or does ylang ylang sometimes smell a little bit like wee? Um, maybe it's just me but um, the end spa step one is a cherry blossom and rice milk bath melt with ylang ylang essential oil and that's a cleanse and then the step three is a cherry blossom and rice milk whipped body cream um, again with the ylang ylang and essential oil um i do it uh, the scent is very nice wouldn't repurchase them not in love with it but it is very nice and the body cream actually it was more moisturising than I expected, so I was pleasantly surprised, but not as moisturising as a body butter that I would usually purchase myself, so I'm not going to be looking around for these. And last in my first ever empties video is a simple kind of skin hydrating light moisturiser in the mini size. Now I haven't actually um, finished this, but it's broken me out in a, in a few spots. Um, uh, I'll link my uh, video for this look that I did this morning and um, 
I don't usually get spots, but um, I can't stop looking at it in the viewfinder. I don't usually get spots, but um, I have got a couple uh, from this. And, I, and in its defence, I think it's because it's off. Um, it smells to me off. If it if it's not off, then I'm worried because for simple. Because if it's not off, then the smell is awful and really chemically and um, just a horrible smell. Um, however, I think it's just off. It was a gift as part of a travel kit that I got for Chris last Christmas, and um, it might have been old before it was given to me. It might it might have been given to me by somebody who potentially uh, had give, had received it as a gift and didn't like it themselves and kept it for a year and then thought I'll, I'll get rid of that. So it could be. I don't think it, it would have been, but it could be. But it does smell off unless it's just a bad batch. Um, but I, I would only say it broke me out in spots. I will add though that this sort of leaves, um, in my opinion, a film on the skin and not not in a nice way, not like a hydrated sort of feeling. I know it's supposed to be light, so it's not supposed to be particularly moisturising, which it isn't. And maybe for somebody with dry, uh, sorry, um, normal to oilier skin might enjoy this and might and that film might even act as some sort of primer for all I know that might help with makeup application but for me I didn't like that feeling um, and because of the breaking out and the horrible smell um, I certainly won't be purchasing that in a larger size. So that's everything for this time round. I actually have a few more items um, but I didn't want the video to be too long and I've got a few things that are nearly empty so I'm probably just going to do another empty video in three or four weeks. So I hope you enjoyed it and please don't forget to make comments, like and subscribe if you want to and I'll see you soon. Thanks, bye!